with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, as you look at your day tomorrow, and as we kind of plan it out for you from start to finish, a little bit warmer tomorrow morning. We're talking temperatures in the mid 60s, but by the afternoon, that's going to be the noticeable difference out there as we quickly jump into the lower 90s out there. Overall, not too bad of a day. We'll see a few afternoon clouds out there, just a little bit of a light breeze, but once again, we should stay mainly dry. That all changes as soon as we step into the weekend. 88 out there is your current temperature. Feels like 88. Winds are out of the north at about seven miles per hour. When your air temperature and your feel like temperature are the same, that means those humidity levels are nice and low. So here you go. We hit 89 officially this afternoon, two degrees below normal. We started out at 65 degrees. Obviously, that number is sitting well below 71. However, again, this afternoon, much warmer out there because of all that sunshine. As we move forward, we're only going to see those temperatures start to ramp upwards as we make our way into the weekend. So your next seven days out there, we're going to call for highs sitting in the lower 90s. Out there, maybe even upper 80s. It really just depends on the amount of cloud cover and really how much coverage we're going to see with all that rainfall. Friday, we're going dry. Saturday, we're going to be calling for a spotty storm during the afternoon. Same thing on Sunday. We're going to keep it at about 30% or less. And then heading into next week, those rain chances start to climb by Monday and Tuesday. Your Doppler radar, clear and quiet across the state at this point. A little bit of a closer look shows you that we got nothing going on out there, nothing but blue skies at this hour. Future cast moving along. We've got clear and quiet picture heading into tomorrow afternoon. A few passing clouds out there, but still a dry picture as we continue to move forward. Well, notice what we've got. Not that bad of a looking picture heading into Saturday. Maybe one or two isolated showers. Same thing for Father's Day. I don't think it's going to be a washout. I think rain chances start to climb a little bit going into early next week. But again, until then, our rain chance is going to be more in that very isolated category, spotty daytime heating showers versus anything. And then obviously a little better chance of rain by Monday and Tuesday. Headline wise, obviously we are returning back to normal as we'll watch our temperatures and humidity levels climb by the weekend. Possibility of a shower for Father's Day and then look for those daily afternoon showers and thunderstorms for really a good chunk of next week. Tropical satellite picture, nothing expected over the next five days. We are clear and quiet across the Gulf. The Caribbean and the Atlantic. 63 degrees for tonight, mainly clear outside. We partnered up with iHeartRadio of Baton Rouge to get your weather on the go. And here is that seven day picture. We've got highs sitting in the lower 90s, overnight lows sitting in the 70s again. Flag day, not bad. Father's Day, the chance for a shower out there. As you see here, your next three days, we're going to call for warmer conditions as we make our way into the weekend with some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And by Monday, again, we're going to look for those scattered. A little bit more coverage heading into those afternoon hours with those daytime highs reaching the low, or excuse me, the lower 90s and most likely upper 80s out there. But feel like temperatures will return back into the mid, even upper 90s by this upcoming weekend, which again means that it starts to get a little bit uncomfortable again. Your skating meter brought to you by Selvin. We continue to sit in that high category. All right, Jesse, thanks. All right. You're welcome. Sports is